Hey, hey, you're out in the garage with Easy Jeezy. I have a situation with my emergency brakes I'd like to make some folks aware of. These uh, MP disc brakes come with the emergency brake accessory. And I saw a little rub mark on my shocks. I thought I'd look at it a little bit closer. Turned out there was two issues. It has rubbed through the cable housing here on the back side because it's hitting on the lip of that shock absorber. Uh, I do take this car off-road. I drive it harder than you would think uh, on occasion. I try not to most of the time, but it does get there. And also, it was tucked down here uh, where it was rubbing on the CV joint. You can see where it's kind of polished the edge, and I can feel it on the back side. There is a protective sleeve that comes with the kit that they provide. I'm not sure where they intended it to go. It does slip around there. It might not hurt to uh, take a piece of tubing, uh, fuel line or something, and make it a little bit longer or uh, make it the whole length. I don't know. You could slit it and wrap it around. They also have that uh, electrician sleeving that winds around. It's a plastic uh, sleeve for bundling your wires together and you could wrap it around. I've got some over here on my Baja. I'll take a I'll take you over there and we'll take a look at it. But it's something that I think uh, could be easily overlooked and I wanted to point that out so that other people that have these uh, disc brakes will check it out. It does come with this uh, emergency brake cable and it's a nice package. Uh, my overall impression of the brakes, it's been on here for some time. I did put up a video uh, and I will probably put add this to that playlist on those disc brakes. I haven't had any problems with it. A couple times I had some squeaking issues on the front. I do have the disc brakes on all four corners. Uh, I use stainless steel braided lines on the front. Check all everything. Check your brakes. It's kind of the beginning of the season. People are getting their cars out and I know I've seen other videos now on the MP disc brakes where people had some issues with fitment, had to do some juggling, and I too on mine had to, you know, hand fit them. It's not like you just take them out of the box and slap them on. They're not like the stock setup. You do have to do some little massaging of your own. Let's take a look over here at the Baja. It's an IRS sedan. Has the stock drum brakes. And you can see how the factory did it, just for comparison. Okay, so it comes in on the bottom of the backing plate. And there is a, a little bracket, a little spot to attach the cable housing behind the lower shock mount and it goes on up into the stock position completely avoids the area that I am concerned with so at any rate it's uh, not an emergency for me or you but it could be I guess maybe that's why they call them emergency brakes it's something that you want to do on your regular maintenance and check out so I just wanted to post up this little alert thanks for watching thanks for subbing Easy, jeezy.